So today is day, let's see, let's see, so today's day 17, um, we've passed over Moxie Bald. I think so, I did some videos yesterday, I said it was day 13, but it's day, it was day 16, today's day 17. So passed over Moxie Bald, um, expecting to camp somewhere close to Karatunk, and then uh, get on the Kennebec uh, ferry tomorrow. Folks I was with have already taken off. I'm sort of starting late, it's almost 9. But I'm packed up. I have my breakfast. I like to have coffee and um, have a hot breakfast. Or I did today. But I'm um, going to head down into Caratunk today. Everything's going well. Um, Gear-wise, I'm really happy with the solo stove. It works really well. It does take some time to get it started, get it um, burning fuel. Uh, get the fire started in it, but um, I have some cotton balls with petroleum jelly, which work really well. Yesterday I didn't need to. Uh, pine bark, uh, not pine, birch, birch paper, birch bark works really well. And food's holding up well, and it seems to be, we're doing okay. So, day 17, about 9 a.m., going to head, uh, head back to the trail in a few minutes. And... Um, after Caratunk, there's supposed to be a lodge where you can get pancakes. I'm looking forward to that. That'll be probably in a, the day after tomorrow. I'll get pancakes, but um, hopefully get to the ferry tomorrow over the Kennebec and be on our way. Hello there, little fella. How you doing? This is a very ubiquitous thing you see in uh, the shelters up here in Maine. It's further south they become rats and mice. That is a chipmunk. Ooh. At least come in and get a little bite to eat. He's not really afraid of me at all. Well he just took off. I guess the deal is good. Somebody's crouching over. But um yeah, if you're up here you'll see a lot of chipmunks. They they they're the equivalent of the shelter mice further down south. Well we just just forded this little stream here. A little spot. And I found this flower here. It's a little bit tiger. It's like a lily, a tiger lily. I don't know if it's going to focus. But there are also these dragonflies. And now they are not posing. I don't know if you can see them that well. They have a metallic green body. There's one there. I don't know if you can see that. Metallic green body with black wings. And they're not put up. And they can't be seen. So anyway, a lovely flower here. A little purple you know, lily tiger running. Maybe we'll crossing too, so we'll be back at it. So here we are on the evening of 17th day. This is a pleasant pond in uh, in Maine, uh, about six miles from Caraton. This is a really a really beautiful beach. There's a, be a really beautiful lake. There's a beach over here with sand, and the water is crystal clear. Um, I came here late in the afternoon. It was nice and warm. I swam around over in here. Had a really good swim. Felt really good. Um, water's not too cold, but you know this is the difference between the Hundred Mile Wilderness and this part of Maine. I don't know if you can see. There are houses all along here. Little cabins. There's a boat right there. So. Um, Definitely not the 100 mile wilderness, but it's beautiful. It's a lovely lake. And I'm just down here to clean my socks and my pot. I'm really happy with the solo stove. This has worked out really well. Um, it's great, I keep a little scrubber. And these are my darn tufts. I'm also happy with these darn tough socks. These have been great. I've been wearing with my sandals. And my blister on this toe, the swelling is still, there's still a little bit of swelling, but I'll be able to hike on it. I've hiked now over 30 miles with the Tevas. Probably going slower than I would with, uh, with my boots, but working out pretty well. So, I'm going to head to sleep in a little bit and get ready for another day. We're going to be crossing the Kennebec tomorrow.